Oh, it's a nice eye. Oh yeah, oh yeah, good fish. Good fish, hang on, Mac, hang on, hang on, hang on. She's got one of them little hooks. I could see the little hook. All right. I could see the little hook in her. All we got's time. We got nothing but time. That's the only thing you gotta really, really be careful with, with these fish. There you go, nice fish. Get her. Got her? Got it. All right. Nice fish. Nice look at fish. That, look Al. at this. The jig and wrap yeah. popped right out of her mouth. That's what I was talking about. That happens a lot with this bait. You know, last year I did a television show that talked about catching walleyes on an ice lure called the jig and wrap. And uh, we have had phenomenal success in open water the past season with this. A bunch of us that really got on this bite and experimented with it. After I did the television show, did a magazine article in North American Fisherman, a number of radio shows and video pieces for, for blogs, my phone rang off the hook. And I heard guys say, you know, I did this in a number of different situations. One really good uh, walleye fisherman from Canada told me about the last two years how he won two major tournaments doing exactly what I'm talking about. So the secret is kind of out. Jigging wraps in open water. It isn't only for ice fishing. And in, in the open water season, I had some of the best walleye fishing I've ever experienced this past year. And I want to talk about some of the things we learned for catching good walleyes like this on a jig and wrap in open water. Let me get her back. I'm going to keep a few more of these for dinner a little later, Mac. Oh, we're over fish right now. This is Got him? That's good fish. I can see that. Oh, yeah. Real good. Your first. Your first whack on a jig and wrap. Jig and wrap. Don't you just love it? Are you a believer? I'm a believer. <laughs> I think that's a netting fish. Get me a netter out of here, man. You got to be careful when you get them near the top. And uh, I got to get a net under real quick because they can get really, really touchy. Right. You know, with that heavy weight. You just got to watch that. That's the only thing that I've learned with this thing. You know, they got real small hooks. I got some good ones under the screen here. They got sharp hooks, I'll tell you yeah. that. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice fish. Yeah. It's a nice fish. You know what? I might even keep him to eat. Nice fish. Nice, nice one. There we man. go. There you go, sir. All right. There you go. Nice fish. I'll tell you what, well, he digs them out. You know, Mac was in the office today. I told, told him the jig and wrap bite is starting. He says, I've been hearing you guys talk about this all winter long. I want to see what it's about. Now you know what it's about. With beautiful fish like that, you can become a believer really quick in those jig and wraps. It's really a fun bite. You know what, Matt, keep that. I'm going eat, to eat him with a few others. Throw him in a live well, please. You know what? He'll taste really good, too. <laughs> I know it. This is the jig and wrap. I had a lot of people say, explain it to me what it is. I've never even heard of it. You know, it's a real heavy bait, two hooks on the end, a little treble hook in the bottom. And this bait, you mess with the size hooks, I've had problems. I fish it just the way it comes out of the pack. Just what you see here, I don't tip it with anything. I don't put a minnow head, a piece of minnow, anything. Just the way it is. In open water, the way we're fishing this, this is all you have to do. Play with your colors, play with your sizes. Usually the five, sevens, and, and nines have all worked. What we're doing on this particular structure, we got fish spread at a couple different depths and the efficiency is incredible. I'm throwing up to about 15, 16 feet fishing it out to 22. Mac is dragging behind me and we ha we're having a, a lot of fish. I just missed one. Marked down at about 22 to 23 three feet. So we're covering a lot of different depth patterns at one time. And uh, that's what I learned last year. A lot of times if we had one or two guys in a boat, one guy would be vertical fishing and dragging off the back, and I would sit in the front and cast up onto the edge of the weeds and fish it and sweep it all the way back. And the efficiency, you can cover so much water so fast with this bait, way more than you can ever, ever do fishing. Like a live bait rig, you can't cover the water. You just can't do it the same. It, it just doesn't work the same. And it is a triggering method. I mean, these fish, they see that thing jump off the bottom, dart to the side, fall in front of their face, and they go, boom, they eat it. Whether you're casting, vertical jigging, or dragging like Mac is doing. It is a triggering bite. 